Yo, what's up, y'all? So today I wanted to talk about sidechain compression in the MPC-1000. I have an older video talking about sidechain compression, just kind of using the compressor in the MPC-1000. You can kind of mess with it and get a little bit of a pumping effect. For those of you that know more than me, <laughs> This might not be the exact right way to do it, but this is how it works for me without getting too complicated, even though it might seem a little complicated. I'll have uh, little images or diagrams in the video that'll be popping up quite frequently, so that way you have a better, clear understanding of how this is rigged up. First, I'm going to show you guys how it's all plugged up, and then I'll get into the MPC-1000 where I'll show you how to set it up to make everything work properly. Let's do it. I got notes and stuff here, so. First off, we're going to want to plug in our stereo outputs from the MPC-1000 into our compressor. So the top image is the back of our MPC-1000, and at the bottom is our compressor. Now those stereo outs in the back of the MPC-1000 are going to come out of the back and go right into the inputs of your compressor. Alright, next step. So right here is your side chain. The top image is going to be the first individual channel of your MPC-1000, you're going to have a quarter inch coming out from there into the back of your compressor in the side chain input. Now we're going to go to the mixer and we're going to get that set up. From the back of your compressor, which right here at the bottom of this image is our compressor, it's going to be the left mono out going into one of the channels of our mixer. And right here I have that on three and four, the three and four strip of my uh, Yamaha mixer. This image right here is showing from the back of our MPC channel two. You're gonna wanna go from there into one of the channels on your mixer. That's everything for the cables. Now we can get into how everything's set up in the box. So first off, on this image, you're gonna wanna go and hit mode and mixer on your MPC. Once you hit mode, mixer, the first thing you're going to see is that you're in your volume and panning. If you see F1 over here, it says L slash pan. And to the right of that, you're going to see L slash out. Go ahead and click L slash out. Now that you're on L slash out, you're going to hit your kick. And you know, wherever you hit, it's going to highlight wherever you're at, of course, in the mixer. So wherever your kick is at, you're going to want to go up to where you see TR, all those TRs from the top, like you can see from this image, you're going to want to go to the TR above where your kick is at, and you're going to switch it to 12, which is channels one and two. And once you're on 12, this is the image right here for your snare and hi-hat. So since we're here in drums already, so like right here, I have my hi-hat, right here, I have my snare. You're going to go to where that TR is at as well, and you're going to switch it to ST. So you're gonna wanna go to ST on your hi-hat and your snare. Uh, we're here in the drum still. Go back to L pan. Once you go to L pan, you're gonna hit where your kick's at again. Pan all the way to the left at the top where that pan is at. Once you pan all the way to the left, kind of bring it in a little bit. Like I would say like three clicks to the right, not all the way left. And now we're gonna do our samples. So go to your program where your samples are at. And these, these are all the samples I used. It's just three, three different uh, pads, nothing crazy. Once you're here, you're going to want to go to the L out. And then you're going to go to the same spot where those TRs were all at, what we did with the drums. And you're going to do the exact same thing, except you're not going to do 12. You're going to do stereo instead. The same thing that you did with the snare and the hi-hat going to ST, you're going to put your samples in the exact same spot as the hi-hat and the snare. So go to that TR and scroll over to stereo, ST, just whatever samples you're using. And you can find them just by clicking around on them and changing them. And the way that I uh, panned on the drums, don't do that with your samples. Your sample panning is staying dead center, only the kick drum, not even the hi-hat and snare. You leave that alone too. 
The front of my compressor, I'll have an image right here. This is how I have my threshold, ratio, attack, and release set up on my compressor. You can go based off of how I have my compressor set up, but just to let you know, it will be over, like super exaggerated, that, uh, that, that ducking effect, but I have it super exaggerated for this video. So I wanna start talking about how I have it set up. I'm gonna play the beat real quick. I'm gonna play the beat, let you hear what that sounds like. And uh, yeah, here we go. So if you could tell that kick is ducking pretty hard. Like I said, it's a bit over exaggerated, but uh, you know, it's for the sake of the video. Right here in my mixer is where I'm able to control my levels for that kick and also the rest of my beat. If I turn this all the way down and press play, like that my left channel, which I can show you right here, that left channel right here in my mixer, that's where my sample's at and everything else. And if I turn the kick down, you're gonna hear that exaggeration of the duck. And then I can, and then I can turn that kick up. And there you have it. That's how you do sidechain compression the proper way with an MPC 1000 or a 2000, as long as you got the eight outs, you're gonna need those. If you got the MPC 1000 at the crib and you got you a compressor laying around, I think I bought this compressor for 50 bucks on Reverb. So it's pretty cheap. It was a pretty cheap compressor. You can get one even cheaper. I think I've seen some of them that are like Behringer with a, with a side chain that are like 30 bucks. But uh, you're going to want to have a mixer as well, which I'm sure a lot of y'all got mixers already. Most of y'all probably already got compressors with side chains. You know, you just don't know how to use it or, or thought about using it. Thank you guys for checking out another one. Much love and peace.